The overarching goal of Return to Learn is that if we're in the position to allow some reopening of on-campus activity in the fall, we want to be able to do that in a manner that is as safe as possible. So to do that, the strategy incorporates three main pillars. Reducing the risk of transmission on campus through personal protection, sanitation, as well as structural configuration of campus in terms of housing and classroom density to really reduce the risk of transmission on campus if, if an infection occurs. The middle pillar is being able to monitor viral activity on campus. We want to detect outbreaks at their earliest possible stage so we can intervene. That incorporates our symptomatic and our asymptomatic testing programs as well as wastewater monitoring, which may give us an early indication that there is a viral activity within a specific dorm, for example. And then follow with our third pillar, which is public health intervention. And that is ensuring that all cases are um, identified, notified, contacts are traced, individuals are placed in appropriate isolation or quarantine housing so that we can prevent further transmission of those outbreaks. So the, the testing component, again, sits within a broader strategy of wanting to be able to identify outbreaks early and reduce the risk of their transmission through using um, risk mitigation strategies, environmental monitoring, and public health intervention. So the goal of our asymptomatic testing program is to enable us to detect outbreaks at their earliest stage so that we can intervene and prevent them from being very large scale outbreaks on campus. So we've done some simulation modeling that has helped us understand that if we want to detect an outbreak when there are fewer than 10 detectable infections on campus, then we'll likely need to test greater than 75% of the population who are on campus every month. And so what we want to do is encourage people to participate in this asymptomatic testing program so that we can detect outbreaks early and respond to them in a quick and efficient manner. We want to make it easy for students, faculty, and staff to get tested. Starting this fall, our plan is for asymptomatic individuals to be able to test themselves without having to come to Student Health Services, a physician's office, or the hospital. We envisage placing testing boxes around campus, and individuals can come, pick up a sample collection kit, and swab their own nose or mouth, and then return the sample to the collection container. We know people would prefer to have saliva testing and are working hard to validate that so we can offer it in the fall. Test results will be delivered directly to an individual's mobile phone via the MyChart app, and under most circumstances, the results will be available within 24 hours.